More people are being allowed back in to their neighborhoods as the search efforts are wrapping up there. There was one piece of good news today. One man who was believed to be missing was instead found safe. That leaves two people who are remaining or considered missing at this hour. Nine News reporter Steve Steger is live outside of the Boulder County Sheriff's Office. Steve, the sheriff remains pretty tight lipped about the investigation as to how the Marshall fire started. Yeah, Tom, partially because this investigation is so important when you think about the scale of this tragedy, a fire that burned uh, close to a thousand buildings. Most of them are homes. It's a lot of damage and a lot to sort out. Uh, today, the sheriff did say that they are working on repowering the Rock Creek neighborhood, the South 68th Street neighborhoods, and also uh, the Spanish Hills neighborhood, and they're going to try to get those back open at some point today. Uh, you know, the sheriff uh, did have a piece of good news today. He talked a bit about this one person, a man that was found, who was one of the three uh, missing people. The Boulder County Sheriff Joe Pelly said that he has been found alive and well, didn't go into much after that. Now, the sheriff also didn't go into much detail about the investigation, though he does say that they've narrowed down the origin point near Marshall Road and Highway 93. We learned yesterday the sheriff served a search warrant on a property related to this investigation. We spotted police officers near the spot where a now viral video shows some kind of structure on fire in the early moments of the Marshall fire. I asked the sheriff today if the property had anything to do with the search warrant involved. We don't know that that shed or anything around it was the actual start of the fire or whether it was secondary and it's complicated and it's all covered with a foot of snow today. So we will sort it out. We, it's an active open deal. And I, you know, the outcome of that investigation is vital. There's so much at stake. And so we're gonna be, we're gonna be careful. We're gonna be professional. We're gonna bring in the best people in the country. We're gonna do this right. Talk about how thorough that investigation is. Just within the last half an hour, I saw Boulder County DA Michael Doherty making his way out of the sheriff's office here. He didn't answer any questions about uh, what's going on and what the status of that investigation is. Uh, the other piece, uh, the sad piece of this, Kim, is that again, two people are still missing, a woman and a man, a woman in Superior, a man in the town of Marshall. The sheriff said today that the weather Look around us, there's about a foot of snow on the ground, is hampering the search effort for those missing people, uh, making it kind of tough to get in uh, because both of those people are believed that their houses burned down and sadly it likely is a recovery effort mm. in that situation, Kim. Yeah, the weather is, it has so much to do with all of this at this point, Steve. And, and when you talk about that investigation, it was all hands on deck from the start, but they mentioned there's the snow. They, they got to get to wherever this ignition point was. Yeah, and it's quite clear that they're being very, very careful here. You know, in the beginning of this investigation, they thought it was a down power line, uh, largely because near that origin point, there is a, a line on the ground. It was later discovered that that was a telecommunications line, not an electric line, that they do not believe that could spark this kind of fire that we saw. So. The indications are that there was some sort of human cause here, but they want to be very careful because, again, the scale of this, a fire unlike this state has ever really seen. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Steve.